that's the beginnings of essentially my bench work uh, that I've actually shown you guys. Now, the purpose of the video was more to show you guys what I'm actually doing here. Um, and what better way to show you apart from the bench work construction phase, but also showing you the layers that I've got here, which may be a little bit uh, difficult to see currently, but I'll bring the camera close so, so you can actually see. So, so for those that have been following the channel or haven't been following uh, my last update, I'm now building a multi-deck layer. This top layer that you see up here at the moment, um, as you can see, it's got polystyrene and bits and pieces already up here. Uh, this is my storage level. So this level here is the top tier level. I can put another layer up there if I want to, but you know, standing right next to it, I would need to be on an actual step in order to see what I'm actually doing out there if I did wish to turn it into one, but its purpose is storage. Here, we've got essentially a first lot of uh, bench work. Now, initially, um, my plan was to have the double track main line underneath and then have the branch line up the top. However, I've actually flipped them around. So the branch line is going to be at the bottom and the double track main line will be up the top here. Um, and the reason being is essentially this table that's right here um, as well, which I'll go a bit of it on that uh, shortly as well. So to give an idea, this top layer here at the moment is two feet wide. Um, this little block that you see right here is actually a coal wagon to show you uh, its actual size. So we've got a coal wagon, two track lines, and a small branch line uh, which will be running underneath. Now, this will be also two feet deep at the moment as it goes around the desk here. It is only one foot wide. Uh, for those that don't uh, use feet and inches, we're essentially looking at 60 centimetres deep and 30 centimetres deep down below here. Um, it will expand out uh, further. So at the moment it is one foot uh, wide here because of the table. But as it goes past the table, say about here, that's when it will open up to two feet wide and get the full uh, looks right here. Um, now, as my plan was uh, in my last video, here I'm actually going to be putting in my lights and the batten lights will be positioned around under here. I'll have a fascia in front, so think of this bit of timber as the fascia. This is not what I'm using, no, but imagine if my light's hanging right here, this will go over the front of the bench work and hang down a little bit like here to hide it. And then essentially we've got this scenic area right here, which will be quite good to look at, I certainly reckon. Um, as indicated in the video, I've countersunk all my holes, uh, all my screws as well. So when it comes to put the fascia on, there's no obstructions here whatsoever. Um, and so far it's actually coming along quite good. Um, this is just the beginnings, obviously, um, and it is a bit of a rolling uh, job. Now, what I mean by rolling is it's a domino effect. So as I've started here, well, in order to get this, I've had to shove all my rubbish and stuff over the other side of the shed, really. So it's an absolute mess. It is fantastic. I love it. Uh, not really. Uh, but as I've actually put storage in such as this, some of the stuff is then getting put up there straight away. Um, so as I go around the actual uh, layout room here and put my bench work in, get all my storage in, etc., items will be moved from other areas and sat in here so I can slow them up my way around the whole shed here. Um, so now anyway, let's get a closer look at all this and uh, see what else I can discuss with you guys. Okay, so here we are back, uh, or essentially we'll start over in this direction here. So as you can see, I've put in a bit of a, a small stud wall here. And the reason why I've actually done this and not just attached the bench work to the wall here itself is obviously I've got a window here and it's in my way. Now, looking at the middle bench work right here, which will be the double track main line, while I could attach something attached to this bench work and run the whole span of the window and attach over to here, there was no support in the middle. And this had me a little concerned. And my simple solution was, uh, you know, Let's put in a, a, a little wall here. So I've still got the use of my window. It only goes uh, this high. Um, allows me to put my bench work in, get it fully supported, and run it straight through. And the other thing is also, it does uh, slightly go out beyond this pole right here that juts out. So we're talking about this pole right here. Um, so when I put my bench work in, it's all gonna be completely dead straight right across here um, as well. Now. As mentioned, here's essentially the bottom uh, row of the bench work itself. Now, this bench work, as I mentioned, is only one foot uh, wide right across here because of my table that's going here. Um, and this table isn't in a, is not in its final position. Um, this will be brought out a little bit um, as well. It's just so I can 
give myself a bit of space to move around here. So about one foot wide, and if we get a piece of timber and some tracks, so this is just the branch line right here. You know, we've still got a good uh, bit of space right here, um, even though it's only one foot wide. Now, this side over here uh, under the window will be the fiddle yard for the branch line, and because it is a branch line, I don't need super long trains. Um, so some of the fiddle yard may start here. Um, it'll also continue down all the way through here over to, you know, someplace over to here, really. Um, so, you know, it's still a generous amount of fiddle yard, but the main reason why this is only one foot wide is to still allow the trains to go around, but not take up more valuable space around the desk. So this will be pulled out a little bit more and, uh, yeah, so, so far so good. Uh, I am very happy with it and it's uh, looking quite good. So what we'll do is we'll move over to the other main section and discuss the levels and what's going on there. Okay, so we're over here at the main track, uh, main line. So the double track one now, my tripod's at its maximum height and this is just a little bit too high for the tripod. So I'm gonna have to lift it up like this, as you can see here. Um, so as mentioned in my video, all my spaces, all my rails across here are 30 centimeters spaced apart on center. And what I mean by on center is the line here is center of the timber and it's 30 centimeters from there to the next one. Again, this is on center of this thing here. So very strong. I'll certainly put uh, my open bench work uh, my track plans and stuff on top there so give myself some natural gradients as you can see again I've already put some storage up here uh, for the polystyrene especially over here as well just to make myself some space and up the top here as well now as you can see there is no uh, metal supports underneath the actual bench work here just yet um, it is only held in by a screw so it's not super strong um, but I am impressed with just how strong it actually already is um, but before I put any serious weight on any of these levels here I still have to go through and put in some metal brackets such as things like these uh, just to give it more make it more structurally sound um, as well but as you can see here even with that uh, so if I put this move this out of the way a little bit that hard up against there as you can see with this maybe not quite no there we are so that's hard up, you know, we're gonna have some good uh, landscaping on that top layer. Now, obviously the layer below is the branch line. Now, as mentioned, it is still only one foot wide across the actual table right here. But then as you can see where the table finishes about here, my uh, bench work will then expand out to two feet wide. Now, when you think about two feet in one track, there's gonna be some excellent scenic stuff going right around the layer. Now, for those that are quite interested on uh, the spacing between these, um, I'll go through some measurements now with you, just to show you what the spacing actually is. Um, so I forget my trusty tape measure. So I'm going from the very bottom ground to the top of my bench work here. It's about 90 centimeters. I'm not about, it is spot on 90 centimeters to the top of that bench work. So we're talking right, right here. So that's the equivalent of three feet high. Now, the reason I've done that is if I sit in a chair and I'm facing this, I am at a wonderful height for it uh, when sitting down. So it's gonna be excellent and easy to get access to and do my modeling when I'm sitting down. Again, there'll be some lights positioned above here on the bench work, shining down with a fascia in front to hide the globe. Uh, but you know, right here, and that'll be quite good. Now, the spacing in between the levels going from here to the next bit of bench work is 42 centimeters um, but obviously the next distance above that is around about 49 centimeters where the next lot of bench work actually starts so um, to me that's a good size uh, and good distance between the two which I've looked at it also enables me to get when I get my back seam put in here and everything else um, you know it's um, I don't need to cut timber down to width so it fits I've looked at lumber and everything just to make my life a bit easier and the other thing also, when we have a look at the gap between the next layer and the storage level above, it's the same dimensions as well in the gap between there. So they're, um, I'm very happy with the spacing on this and I think it's gonna work extremely good. So there we have it. And, uh, and as I mentioned, you know, it is a bit of a rolling install. So the layout has taken, or well, the previous layer has taken a massive hit, obviously. So as you can see, I've cleared some space here and I'm going through. So the next section I'll put bench work in will be over here eventually and then I'll slowly make my way around the room 
and get that actually done. Now, looking over here, as you can see, everything's shoved into one area. It's put over to one side, as I mentioned, and this will get cleaned up. It'll be tied up, it'll be put away as I get my storage put in over here. So it will get tied up and it's what I call a rolling install, really. Um, so, and again, I've still got bench work to put across here and another layer across here. So even when I put those two lots in, I've got more space to put some stuff uh, in the interim while I'm still working. So everything's been uh, demolished and as seen over to here, that's all pretty much gone. So I've just got the stretch going from here to the other side over to here. That's the last of the bench work. Plenty of timber around. Um, I've got spare lumber absolutely everywhere at the moment. This lumber uh, that was used with the old layout will get used in amongst here as well. So it's all not wasted, even though I am redoing my bench work and it's looking a lot more nicer. All the older timber, such as all this stronger stuff right here, will get used. And a lot of that's gonna be used as my supports behind here uh, for the actual um, back scene. Because uh, by the time I get my brackets in here to give extra support to the actual bench work, etc., I'm going to need to bring the back stand out slightly so all that timber will get used. It's not going to be wasted at all. Um, so there we go. So that's the start of it at the moment. It's uh, obviously a lot of work to do. It's going to be a long time before we see any trains running. But uh, here's the concept. Bottom layer, second layer, third layer, and that storage up there. And uh, that's going to look great as it goes right around the whole shed. So thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed uh, the video and the progress update on where we're at with this bench work. And, uh, and of course, if you're watching this for the first time, you know, I do uh, welcome your comments uh, as well. So even uh, my existing followers, always leave your comments down below. I do read them all and I do uh, reply to them. And uh, you know your feedback has been fantastic as well, um, giving me ideas that I don't think of. So, uh, so don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And uh, I will see you in the next video as we go along. Talk soon. Take care. Bye for now.